How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator Survival Series. So we are in the middle of a delivery and if we look at the map we are just outside of Winnemucca. We're about to go through there and we'll head through Alco, Salt Lake City into Vernal which uh, well we will hopefully get a job going further down south. I want to get back into sort of like this area. Uh, Clifton somewhere down here Tucson Ooh, that'll be cool so that's what we're gonna try and do um, we could also try and go sort of inland somewhere around here uh, but we'll see we're just gonna try and get to there for now uh, it's 523 miles another eight hours and 58 minutes uh, before we're gonna get there and we need to sleep in eight and a half hours so we're definitely gonna have to sleep on this trip um, so let's get all of that set up Track I already. Truck started. Lights on. We've got A gear. There we go. All right. And here we go. Beautiful. Okay. It's good to be back on the road. Alrighty, leaving Winnemucca. We almost didn't see it. It's tiny, right. really tiny. Thought I could hold the momentum in third gear there, but obviously not. And so, sit rep. We are hauling just about 20 tons of cables. And we started in... Was it Burns? I think it was. Left turn ahead. So, um, yeah. Decent sized journey. I can't remember what the total distance on it was. It was quite a bit, I think. Turn left. And yeah, still, still loving the truck. Really, really enjoying it. But I'll tell you what. Outside of the game, I'm freaking cold. What's the temperature in the game? 28 degrees Celsius by the looks of it. Why does it seem like it's always 28 degrees Celsius in the game? Um, but yeah, at the time of recording, uh, obviously I am, well... Some of you might not know, but I am from South Africa, and this car is not going to give me a gap to come out. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'm from South Africa, and um, we're in winter time at the moment. And we're sort of technically only in the beginning of winter, but goodness me, has it been cold. I mean, cold by South African standards. I mean, there's some places in the world where I would not survive, where it gets way, way, way too cold for my likings. But for South Africa, this is, this is freaking cold. Um, so, we've had it dip a little bit into the minus. Um, I'm talking Celsius here, not Fahrenheit. Uh, so, I think we saw minus three. Uh, yesterday or the day before so it's been I mean that is pretty damn cold for a South African I, I'm not gonna lie that is cold I know other places of the world gets to like minus 40 but that is ridiculous there's no way I'll be able to live in a place like that but um, yeah it, it's just cold I mean I didn't get this cold when we were living in Ireland because the clothes and everything is just different and the buildings are different I mean, South Africa gets really hot, so everything is built to keep heat out and cold air in. That's how everything is designed and built. So when winter comes around, it becomes really, really cold because the buildings are still doing what they were designed to do in the first place, which is an aeroplane in the highway. Um, but what I was going to say, which is to, to keep the hot air out and cold air in. Um, because of the very hot summers that we get 
so yeah it is bad where in a place like Ireland everything is built to keep the heat in and the cold air out so it's not that bad and the clothes are all different as well it's really hard to get something like that's really really nice and warm um, in South Africa so yeah uh, we, we've been freezing the last couple of days and it was also raining for the last two days which is very weird because it is middle of June and we don't where where I am in South Africa around Johannesburg area we don't get any rainfall in winter time at all our rain stops around April and we only get rain again around September so we get summer rainfall um, no rainfall in winter at all if you go up to Cape Town area there you'll get your your winter rainfall and that's one of one of very few areas in South Africa that gets rain in winter time um, but they're fairly dry in summertime so we're, we're the exact opposite we get uh, we're sort of a subtropical climate so we get no rainfall in winter time and in summertime we don't get really get these sort of like you get in Ireland where it's just sort of a constant drizzle for a few days we don't really get that it's normally very very hot during the day and then around four o'clock five o'clock in the afternoon we get massive massive thunderstorms and a lot of rain in a short amount of time and then it's gone but it's still like really warm while it's raining and thunder and all of that good stuff so yeah we get a very sort of tropical it's actually subtropical is what we get um, but it's yeah that's what we get so normally it gets yeah very hot and then a big thunderstorm and uh, which doesn't really cool anything down it's just a lot of rain in a time frame of 45 minutes and then it's gone and then everything's good again but yeah for us to get rain now is very strange it is not normal at all but I've also been not super healthy um, lately which I don't know if it's weather related because of the really strange weather we've been having and as I said this is a very 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 cold winter for us last year we had a very mild winter but we also had a very mild summer it never really cooled down um, to a point which would be normal um, but it never like really heated up in summertime to the point which would be normal um, so it was a very mild year and then this year it seems like it's extreme um, it's making up for everything last year uh, the lack of everything last year I should say uh, try and get into that lane um, but yeah I mean this year just seems extreme and excessive so it's been a bit weird and I don't know if that is what's been keeping up I've got sort of like a I don't know a sinus issue and it's just been really bothering me where I mean it, it, it just sucks where everything sort of congested the whole time and clogged up and it is not fun it is not fun and the problem is it's been going on for geez probably about three months now since we sort of had the first cold spell um, which was way too early in the year anyway for that to happen but it did um, but yeah I had I basically got a little bit ill um, about three months ago 12 weeks I think it is uh, maybe just over 12 weeks I got ill I got bronchitis which I've never ever had in my life as far as I know maybe when I was a baby but I don't know uh, not from what I can remember uh, I got bronchitis and it just seems like I never really recovered from it I just never got better um, and no it wasn't the whole thing going on at the moment I was tested and I was fine um, but well unless the test was wrong which is possible but I mean it should have cleared up a long 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 time ago um, and it didn't it just didn't and I don't know I should probably go see a doctor if it doesn't clear up in like the next few days I'll probably just go and see a doctor but we'll see it's just annoying you know that's a oh, he's friendly thanks dude yeah it's just sort of annoying you know it's not to a point where I am worried it is just really 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 annoying that this thing is not clearing up um, 
so I mean like uh, nasal spray clears it up pretty well for a couple of hours but you can't really keep using those things for too long at a time I think it's like four days max at a time so yeah it sucks and I've tried some different medications and stuff and just doesn't seem to work so I might just need to go to the doctor and see what they've got to say because um, this isn't working for me and I hate it and that's just, this is kind of the reason why I brought it up is I absolutely hate it because I never ever get sick never I mean I probably I would probably get a cold normally once every two years a cold that lasts about two or three days and that'll be me done for for two years and that'll be it um, so yeah I don't know it, it is very un well I wouldn't say well what's a word what's a word that I'm looking here um, it's not normal is what I'm trying to say it's not normal for me to get sick I don't get sick I don't get headaches I, I don't get any of that stuff ever um, I mean if I get a headache then there's something wrong I don't get that stuff so generally I'm pretty healthy and I always have been um, but yeah just for the last 12 weeks I just have something that I that I can't get over for some weird reason and it's really really starting to annoy me and funny enough I I used to be a smoker I smoked for about three years I think but I started quite late I started when I was like 21 ish started smoking for just maybe over three years and then I quit smoking but I went over to vaping and then I was vaping for probably I don't know three or four years and when I got bronchitis 12 weeks ago I stopped vaping so I haven't smoked for over four years but I've been vaping and when I got bronchitis 12 weeks ago I stopped vaping so I haven't vaped or smoked or anything for the last 12 weeks and I've been ill permanently so everyone said oh yeah, all of this is bad for your health and it is I mean all of that stuff is bad for your health I'm just saying the only time in my life that I've been chronically ill is when I stopped so what the hell is that all about so I don't know if it's like a I don't know like an what do you call it a after effect or a I don't know it's like something that happens when you stop uh, not like withdrawal I mean it's not withdrawal this is some sort of illness and I don't know if it's like a yeah after effect of the vaping um, which kind of only happens when you stop so I, I don't know I, I don't freaking know what the hell's going on I'm not a doctor probably just see one um, but yeah it's just it sucks because I thought okay I'm gonna quit all of this stuff and I'm gonna be a lot more healthy and it turns out I'm a lot worse but still don't don't vape or smoke it's bad for you it's really 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 bad and it's very hard to stop so don't do that um, I'm not saying it's that's the reason I'm just saying the timing is bad is what I'm trying to say oh we've got an 80 mile an hour speed limit I just noticed so that is nice um, but yeah, I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated. Not that I think anyone's interested in my personal health, but I don't know. Someone might be. But I mean, I feel fine other than that. I'm not tired. I don't feel ill. I don't feel like I want to lie in bed all day. I, I'm fine. I mean, I've been doing a lot of work. I've been doing a lot of recording and um, I've been doing a lot of physical work and construction work and things and I'm fine I'm absolutely 100% fine other than my sinuses are clogged up and it sometimes makes it difficult to breathe properly unless you breathe through your mouth you can't breathe through your mouth all the time because then your throat dries up so yeah all right we're probably gonna get pulled in again oh no we're not Oh, this guy's got some cables as well. How you doing? Oh, we're gonna overtake him. What is he driving? Is that a Kenny? What is that? Yeah, Kenworth. 
very nice. Oh, jeez. It's no freight liner, though. It's a nice truck, but it's not a freight liner. We've got a beast of a truck. I love this thing. This thing is freaking amazing. This scenery around here is very interesting. This is very interesting, actually. Is that salt? Are these like salt pans? Why is that white? I think these could be salt pans. I don't know, if you know, this is obviously Nevada, because we're doing 80 miles an hour. Are these the um, salt pans? I think it might be. Oh, something else that I wanted to bring up. Um, I think it might have been in the last episode, or maybe the one before that. One of the last few episodes I was talking about horses. And I think I said the sort of steering wheel of a horse is called a stirrup. I think a stirrup is a part that you put your foot in, and I think the the steering wheel side of things is a reins. Is it is it the reins? So I just thought about that when I was editing the video earlier today. Um, I think stirrups are where you put your feet in, and reins is sort of the steering mechanism of the horse that sort of goes in its mouth. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I might be wrong on that again. I mean, I don't know a lot about horses, but I'm sure someone does that's watching this and they'll correct me on all of that. So that's fine as well. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I mean, that's how you learn. You make mistakes. But yeah, I, horses definitely not my strong point. I mean, you can get me talking about cars and stuff. And I mean, yeah, I, I could... I mean, I could hold a conversation about cars and stuff. I'm no car expert, but I know quite a bit about cars. Um, horses, not so much. Definitely not. This is a very interesting area. Very interesting indeed. Salt Air Drive. So, yeah, the, the road is Salt Air Drive. Um, was it... Was that salt air or salt fair? I don't know. I think it's salt air. Oh, we need to slow down a little bit. It actually feels a little bit weird driving 80 miles an hour. Because we don't get to do it often and it just feels a little bit strange to be honest. Alright. move over into this lane that big crane in the distance there so they've got those big concrete blocks on the back side of them hanging on the back side you can actually see it there um, those big concrete blocks over on the back side that is a counterweight for the crane how are those things mounted because it looks like they are just clamped in there but I highly doubt that those things are just clamped like just hanging there on friction is there like I don't know metal beams or something going through them there there has to be some sort of a metal beam or something or metal beams going through them Keep left. I mean there has to be it, it can't just be it looks like it's just literally clamped in there it's a friction type thing that holds them in place but I don't know if, if you know how those things work let me know is that actually really just friction holding them in there they're bolted from the sides just clamped together or oh, I think we're gonna stay in this lane um, or is there actually some metal struts going through the middle of them side to side um, to hold them up there because I always feel very very uncomfortable walking somewhere where those things are around because it really does look like they're just held in there by friction, basically. And, um, yeah, I, there's not going to be... Well, yeah, there's not going to be much to find if one of those slips out. So, yeah, just... If you know, let me know. Right, we can go back up to 70 miles an hour again. And I think... Okay, 65. 
Uh, I think we need to drop some gears here. Try and keep the momentum going a little bit. It's only 20 ton load, so it's not that bad. It is quite a steady jump up this one though. Vernal. That's where we're going. Ooh, that looks like an interesting road going up there. Nice. Alrighty, we're taking a slipway right. coming up then here. Yep. Spinning right. right. Take the exit right. Go straight. Can't really see if anything's coming, but um looks kind of clear and a nice little spot to pull over beautiful handbrake on truck off and um, yeah there we go Ooh, that's pretty nice that's a nice scene to end that on but that is going to be it for today guys so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode we'll carry this on in the next one if you enjoyed this episode make sure to smash that like button and i will see you all next time